During the Second World War, the German armor camouflage went through a series of changes. Some of the colors and patterns used, especially during the late war years, are still subject to much discussion. But in this video, I want to present you a less researched topic, the field camouflage of the panzers, the foliage and camouflage netting on German tanks. Camouflage is the art of how not to be seen. And one of the simplest ways to achieve this is to take some of that environment with you when driving around in a natural environment. So a popular method of concealing vehicles has long been to attach pieces of readily available local greenery. Like other militaries, the German army understood that concealing vehicles in either defensive or offensive measures would increase the likelihood that the vehicles will survive the encounter. This became vitally important in the late war years when Allied air superiority made daytime movement a very dangerous endeavor. In addition to camouflage painted onto the vehicle itself, they would also use foliage, branches from bushes and trees, grass or even hay from fields to cover the vehicle, usually from the front to make it even harder to spot and differentiate from its surroundings. But shine may nullify even the best camouflage. Shine was also concealed by using these field camouflage methods. It can exist when there is natural or artificial light in the sky. Shine may come from any part of a vehicle and can be revealed through any of the numerous gaps which exist in concealment. They would also on occasion use camouflage tarps and canvases as well as camouflage netting to further conceal the vehicle from being spotted. As the war became more defensive for the German army, the frequency of vehicles being camouflaged in this way, waiting to attack the enemy, was also increasingly common. During late war years, large piles of pre-cut branches were sometimes left at roadsides to allow retreating units to quickly camouflage their vehicles. German pioneer units belonging to the Panzer or even to infantry divisions often got orders from the divisional commanders to cut out foliage and leave it along the roads to help the retreating motorized German formations to conceal their vehicles as they fell back or as they set up a next ambush. However, vehicles sometimes must be moved during the daylight hours between different locations. Selecting an advantageous site in the terrain pattern enabled tanks to occupy an area without altering the appearance of the terrain. Tanks were parked under natural cover wherever it was available. In an area of inadequate cover, tanks were parked so that the shape of the vehicle with the aid of a garnish net appeared to be a natural part of the terrain. Wooded terrain was the most optimal because of its irregular pattern which provided excellent concealment for a vehicle and its tracks. To preserve the natural appearance of wooded terrain, tanks were dispersed and parked at varying angles and at unequal distances. It is interesting to note that there was also occasions where, parallel with the foliage cover, Panzer crews would apply a thin layer of mud or snow to the vehicle to help camouflage it with its surroundings. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel.